Welcome to Bell of Curl. I'm very pleased you can join us. I'm excited. I've been studying cycling since about 1976 when Bernard Hinault got my attention and I'm going to talk about the Badger later and I'm going to leave a book link but not in this chapter probably. Uh, this channel's really evolved. Originally I just started out to do a few bike rides to share with my family in the States but after considering what I've compiled over the last 50 years of riding or so, I thought maybe it'd be fun to share some. I've compiled some notes, uh, which would make a really nifty uh, essay. And uh, one of my viewers asked me if I was gonna write a book. And uh, if I do, it'll be an ebook and it'll be free. But I'm far too lazy to do it, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> Seriously. But however, there is an issue. If you use my material and you sell it, we'll have a problem. So if you use my material and you want to sell it, please ask my permission. And I'm sure there's, that's fine. But whatever's in the public domain, if you want to share, I want you to share it. Please, please share. It's what, that's why I'm doing this. Okay, uh, I am the writer, producer, director, cameraman, boom operator, researcher, and publisher. Uh, so it's really fun. Keeps me out of the pool hole. But today's subject's really important. And, uh, excuse me, I'm a little thirsty. Today's subject's really important, and it's rest. Now, today we're going to talk about the sleeping aspect of rest because rest is playing video games, staying in the park with your dog, and decompressing. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about sleep specifically because I thought about, you know, what are the three things people really do? You know, they, they eat, they reproduce, and they sleep. That's basically our function in life. Um, and, 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 but eating, we talk about. Reproducing is another channel. And sleeping, we can talk about. So, so that's good. Uh, anyway, um, number one, mental health. Sleep is directly related to depression and other psychoses and fancy words we're not going to talk about. But sleep is very important for your stability and emotional happiness. Because if you notice, uh, if, if you don't sleep, you could become agitated, you react perhaps quicker than you would if you had a nice, a good sleep. And, and, and that's a part of your mental health. And doctors can talk to you about it because it really is a big one. Uh, but we care, we don't care about mental health, well, we do, but we care about the sports aspect on this channel. We're, we're, we're not doctors, we're, we're athletes, we're, we want to be athletes, we're tomorrow's athletes. Someone is, one of you guys, definitely. And, and uh, we need to regenerate and heal ourselves, and you can't do it if you're moving. When a mechanic is working on your car, he shuts off the engine. So that's that's God allows your body so many things, which is such there are books on it, and we don't have time, but we can leave a reference for for sports benefits because that's what we're focused on here. But there's a, one more little thing, and this is related to sports, kind of, and this is a benefit of sleep, and it's called, well, what we call dream time. Now, now dream time is very important, because w when we're out there pumping away, we're creating uh, and, and, and enhancing uh, 
our endorphins and serotonin and really jacking up our, chemi our chemistry through vigorous activity. And in dream time, you know, the Aboriginal, the Aborigines uh, use dream time to make political decisions and, and tribal decisions, sometimes uh, all kinds of decisions. And they, there are books on the subject. And when I was in college, I had an opportunity to read one. Um, okay. Now, as, as a, a designer, because uh, you know, I'm kind of like you know, one of the guys that draw parts and make assemblies from drawings. And I, I would engineer parts together for, for my customers. And uh, sometimes I would have trouble and I would use sleep time, my dream time, to think about it at night when I had no other distraction. And I did solve issues and I have uh, I've proven that it can work. So, what can we do to get more productive sleep and more use out of it? Mom was right. That glass of warm milk and a toasty bread are uh, two good things to help jack up your serotonin level. Other foods like nuts, spinach, whole eggs, eat the whole egg because the yolk has vitamins, and especially the uh, B vitamins. So we eat the whole yolk. Um, and um, gosh, the importance of sleep for athletic performance by Marshall, Bobak. there's a whole bunch of names behind this article. I will leave a link. I uh, really believe sleep for athletes is probably second thing we screw up on because one thing where you notice is so many caffeine beverages and sports drinks and that's a little bit trippy so we talked about caffeine and, and the mixed blessing and other stuff that has mixed blessings and uh, like I say uh, caffeine will keep you up and if you're an athlete you're gonna, you're gonna, and you're gonna go out and ride the next day, and you don't sleep well. The guy that did sleep well is gonna whoop you. Mm -hmm. So, let's eat our milk, nuts, spinach, eggs, and there's a list of other about eight or nine different kinds of foods that are all healthy for increasing your serotonin, plus the extra boost we get from. Vigorous aerobic training. Thanks to Mel for watching. I got to run.